All right, hello and welcome to 8.2 part two. We already went through all of this. Isn't that exciting? And now we are going to turn the page over and do some of these problems. This is the find the area of the shaded part. So what we have to do is we have to do subtraction. For a, this particular part, we are going to start with finding the area of a rectangle. And then we're going to take away, we're going to subtract two circles. And when we <coughs> take away this area, we're left with the shaded area. We're left with this extra stuff. So that's kind of, that's what we need to do. Now, so the area of a rectangle is base times height. And then we're going to take away two circles. So I'm going to do two pi r squareds. So I'm two because I've got two circles that I'm taking away. So base times height. Uh, well, we don't have the base or the height, but this is six because it's a diameter. And so that's six. And this length, is just two diameters. So it's six plus six, which is 12. So therefore the base is 12 and the height is six and we're subtracting and the radius of the circle is three like that. So there we have it. So base times height, that is six times 12. Um, so that is 72 minus, this is nine times two, 18 pi. That's 72 minus 18 pi. And this is actually the equal answer. This is the exact answer right here. 72 minus 18 pi. And then from there, we have to plug it in our calculator. 72 minus 18 pi. And we get about 15.5 square feet. Because it is feet. All right, so the, the shaded area is about 15.5 square feet. This was all about subtraction. Same thing here. We want to start, we're going to start with basically the same problem, except we're starting with a circle. We're going to start with a big circle. And we're going to take away two little circles. So this is just a big circle minus two little circles. And so this is pi r squared minus two pi r squared. So this radius we have to find, and it's just half of 14. So this radius is half of 14, so seven. So this is pi times seven squared. And then these little guys, well, if this is, if this is seven, then that means that these little radiuses are half of seven, so three and a half. Okay, so now we can work this out. This is now 49 pi, and this is 3.5 squared times two, so 24.5 pi. Um, which gives us an interesting result this shaded area is itself, if I subtract, I can just subtract 49 minus 24, it's 24.5. That's the answer, that's the equal answer, which is interesting because it's just half of the total. This shaded part ends up just being half of the total area. These two circles in here account for half of that total area. And then from there, I can go ahead and approximate it uh, 24.5 pi. Here we go. 70, about 77 millimeters squared. Be a good answer for that one. Okay. Next one. Now this one is actually, we can do this using, um, two sectors. This is actually a sector, a slice of pizza, and it's just two of them two of the same ones. So I'm just gonna do 
2 times one of these sectors. Think about it like that. That's all I need to do. So that'll be 2 times x over 360 times pi r squared. Um, you can deal with the 2 whenever you want. So I could think of this as 2 and then that's 360. So these actually can kind of cross off. And this is now x over 180 pi r squared because that's what happens. That's, uh, that's how you can work it out at that. And then the angle, half of the circle is 180 degrees. So that makes these two angles have to be 50 degrees. So to add up to 180. And then this would also be, there you can use like vertical angles, linear pair, that sort of stuff. So this is gonna be 50 over 180 times pi times three squared. So let's see here. These zeros cancel off. You can whoop those zeros. These zeros cancel off. So think of this as a, there's a big fraction. You've got pi on top. You've got nine times five. So this is now 45. And you've got 18 on the bottom. So nine times five is 45. And then this can be reduced. Let's see here, what can that be reduced? Those can both be reduced by nines. So we can call this five pi over two, divided by both by nine. And technically meters squared, that is the exact answer. And then from there, you can get the approximate answer, plugging that in your calculator. This problem, how are we gonna get this shaded area? Well, the way I see it, I see, let's start with a half of a circle. We're going to start with a half circle. And then what we need to do is we need to add this little piece right here, right? So you got to add that little piece. So that's to add another little half circle. You have to add another little half circle. And then you have to subtract these things. You have to subtract these two little half circles. So you got to subtract uh, I'm running out of room. You have to subtract that, and you have to subtract that. Now, these would cancel off. So really, like this area right here kind of fills in this area, doesn't it? So you don't even have to worry about this. It's really like this. It's the same thing as this. So it's kind of the... These two would have the same area. So think of it as a, a half circle minus a little half circle. So a half circle, this is half pi r squared minus half pi r squared. We have a half circle minus half circle. Now we gotta figure out what the radius of this is. So the, the radius of this big one is six and the radius of the small one, well, you gotta take your 12 and divide it into three pieces. One, two, three. So that means cutting this up into, that would be four, four, and four to make 12, and then it's half half of four is two, so therefore the radius of this circle is two. All right, so now think of this, this is 36 divided by two, so this is now 18 pi, and this is four divided by two, so this is two pi, and if they're both pi's, you can subtract those because those are like terms, like think of this as 18x minus two x, that would give you 16 pi, 16 pi, inches square that's the technically the x the perfect exact answer okay um you can plug that in your calculator and simplify from there let's look at this problem hmm we gotta find the shaded area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with a sector Start with the sector, and I'm going to take away 
the triangle. And that will leave me with this extra little area here. So a sector is x over 360 times pi r squared. And then a triangle is 1 half base times height. All right, we're gonna, oh, I'm gonna run out of room here. Should have done this up here. That's all right. This is not being organized. I apologize. So now we have x over 360. That's 90 over 360 times pi times the radius squared. Now, because this is, that's four and that's four, the base of the triangle is four and the height of the triangle is four. So there we have it. Let's get an exact answer. Now this is a fourth. And then that's 16. And then this is, this is a 16 times a half, that's eight. So this is a fourth of 16, so that's four pi minus eight is the exact answer. And then I can approximate it in my calculator. Four pi minus eight. Four point, uh, let's call it six, four point six. Um, big mistake here is that people do four pi minus eight and they'll try to subtract it and they'll call this negative four pi and that just doesn't make any sense. You can only subtract or add these together if they're like terms like we did up here, like with the 18 minus the two. We could do, we could subtract these because they were both pi's. All right, now let's go to the homework from last class that we didn't get to. Uh, this one's interesting. It's find the perimeter. So for the perimeter, there's four things I have to add up. I have to add up that plus that plus this curved part plus this curved part. So there's four kind of pieces that I have to add up. Now, these are easy. That's 13 and 13. But what is, how long is this? Well, what that is, is that's a half of a circle. So I'm going to do half, half circumference. And then this is also a half of a circle. So really what we have, as far as the perimeter goes, we have 26 plus a half of a circle plus a half of a circle. That's just a circle. So 26 plus a circle. So 26 plus pi r squared, uh, ugh, I'm thinking of area. Circumference, circumference is two pi r. So 26 plus two pi times the radius is three. So we could call this 26 plus six pi. That would be the exact answer. You can't call that 20 pi. You can't subtract these. That's, you can't do that. That's not like terms. So from here, we have to plug it in our calculator and get our uh, approximate answer. So 26 minus six pi, 7.2. Okay, now let's do this problem. All right, now what we can do here is we can you pause the video and you try this one on your own. So pause the video. Here we go. We got four things. We got this piece. We got this piece. We got this piece. And we got this piece. So we got six plus six plus a quarter of a circumference and a quarter of a circumference. So this is really 12 plus, what's a quarter plus a quarter? That's right, a half. So 12 plus half of two pi r. Now these halves cancel. So 12 plus pi r. What is the radius? The radius is three. So 12 plus, three pi would be the exact answer. And then from there, I can plug that in my calculator. Uh, 
12 plus 3 pi. 21.4 was units, whatever units it is, but that's a good answer for that one. So take a step by step. You know what perimeter is. This is a quarter of a circle. 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 Pause the video, rewind. You need to go back and do that over again. All right, on to the next page of the homework. This is the 8.2 assignment that you didn't have to do because we didn't get to it in class. But let's do these two problems here and then we'll call it a day on this lesson. This is the, fam the famous donut problem. How do you find the area of the donut? Well, you gotta cut out the donut hole. So you have to take a large piece of dough and you have to cut out the donut hole. And therefore, leave, that leaves you with the area of this shaded part. So this is a big pi r squared minus a little pi r squared. All right, let's keep going. This one has a radius of 24. And the little guy has a radius of 6. Um, 24 squared is 576. This is 576 pi minus 36 pi. Now these I can put together because they're both pi, they're both like terms. So 576 minus 36 is 540 pi. That is a great answer. And technically it is meters squared because it is area. It's a great answer for that question. 540 pi, leave the pi in it. Okay, now ideally you pause and you go do this problem by yourself. But go something like this. We're going to start with the big square and we're going to take away four little circles. So that's what we're going to do. That leaves me with the shaded area. And so this is base times height minus four pi r squared. So base is 20, height is 20, and then you do have to solve for the radius of each of these little circles. Well, take 20 and cut it in half. So now this is 10 and 10, and then take 10 and cut it in half. So now this is five and five. So the radius of the circles are all five. So this would be 400 minus, uh, this is 25, that's 100 pi. So 400 minus 100 pi, that's the exact answer. And then I can plug it in my calculator. 400 minus 100 pi is about 85.8. 85.8. Eight inches squared. And that's how it's done. Okay. You now have a, another worksheet. The substitute will hand that out to you and you need to complete the area problems. Instead of a Kahoot, we will just work through some of those area problems, but you need to get it done before class. All right, good luck.